Right, time for some mailbag. Now, you may see a few ants walking around. It seems I've got an issue with ants in my mailbox. Um, I've killed loads of them, but I think they might have gone into these bags. So, we might get some surprises. Um, okay, let's get started. So, first thing is a bunch of resistors. These are... I don't know. <laughs> is it was this a pack? All different values. Um, I think these were some precision resistors, like one percent types um, of different values. I think I purchased these when I was doing the um, the Fluke AC calibrator with the. Um, one of the resistor networks is burnt out and I was trying to make values up so I thought I'd buy a whole bunch of precision ones to uh, to help that if I had issues so I managed to get it done but anyway we'll see uh, still not bad no more ants so far anyway oh look more resistors again um, Interestingly, no, no, they've got different, slightly different SKUs, so I'm not quite sure. I think these are, oh, that's right, these are higher wattage resistors. These ones are half watt, that's why. Okay, so yeah, I was topping up my resistor connection with some higher wattage ones, higher precision ones. All right. Now, what the hell was this thing? Oh yes, that's right. It's a um, like a gooseneck mount. Um, so you can clip this onto something. It's quite a strong clips actually. It's quite good. Um, it's got some foam in there too to stop it sliding. It's quite a nice stiff. Um, it feels like aluminium probably actually. Um, hopefully it doesn't fracture with repeated use though. It's the only thing with that. Um, so that's, you know, it's a bit springy. Um, um, hang on. Having to see how springy it is. Alright. Um, so as long as it's not knocked I suppose it's probably alright. This locking mechanism thing here. So the idea then is that you can clamp this onto a device like a phone. Goes nice and wide, so you can put something quite big in there. Um, that's pretty cool. So you can actually, you know, use a universal type mount. This may or may not be used much. Um, I purchased it in case I needed it. Um, generally, it's okay. I think I was originally thinking about this as a microphone mount. Um, as for this, I don't have a clue. <laughs> it's got a USB plug on it. Um, is it a light? Ah, oh, it's a little light, I think. I think it is. Hold on. Will my USB thingy work? Yeah, there you go. The USB light. Yeah, I don't know. Might be handy. Something. It's not particularly powerful. Get my other one going again. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, it's a little gooseneck thing. Well, then it could be handy, I suppose. If you're trying to use your laptop in the dark or something and it's you need a bit more light. Um, but, yeah, I wouldn't exactly say it's wonderful, but, you know, it's okay. And let's pause a second. All right, next thing. I haven't seen more ants yet. I'm surprised. Maybe I've got them all. And I've decided to purchase a few knobs. Um, so these are just standard, like uh, spline shaft type. Um, you can see that in there. There you go. Um, how will all this fit? I don't know. I thought I'd get a little pack of ten. These weren't very expensive, a couple of dollars or something. 
Links for all these things will be down in the description as I tend to do now, as requested by people. Um, let's find how to get into this box. Yes. So these are a set of Kelvin clips. Now I did actually make some previously. They're okay. They work alright. Um, but I wanted to have a second set. I do actually have some which I made as well. Which are yeah, you know, I'll get these out. Hold on. Like these, which are okay. But I made these a minute. They're not wonderful. Um, I mean, they work fine, but I wanted to get some different ones. And uh, so these are supposed to be four wire measurement Kelvin leads. So we got uh, all the plugs nicely color coded, which is good, um, which is one of the things I don't like about the existing one. Um, so you've got also grey and black there too, so you can see which one's the, which one's which, and again grey and red. So that's quite handy. It's got a little band around the end too. So that's actually a nice touch, nice little detail. Um, nice flexible silicon leads. They feel quite nice. Crocodile clip. Um, it's got like an end grab in there as well for putting a wire straight in there. But they, these seem really good. No holes, so not super sharp. But uh, good enough. I mean, they look like they're plated or. They may just be brass, but uh, got a nice clip range on these too. You know, you can go quite wide with them, whereas my other one can't go as wide, and this won't tend to slip off things either. So, um, and you know, this is a nice proper proper cable. It's got a bit of strain relief on there, so they're not bad. Um, so you probably see me use these in upcoming videos. Um, I don't have any specific plans as yet, but uh, I thought they'd come in handy because I've got the other ones, but I don't like them that much. They're not very nice. Plus you've got the angle plugs and uh, these things have got straight plugs on them so I'm just plugging straight into the meter. Um, I'm actually really tempted right now to reorganise my bench. I've actually been looking online um, for a new multimeter. Um, nothing's come up yet that's grabbed my fancy. Well, a couple have but they've been, um, as always, overseas, usually in the USA. And postage has been prohibitive or unavailable. Um, what I've been looking at is... Uh, six and a half digit multimeters um, I've got a I've got a VG which is ballpark ish you know four digit whatever it is but it's not precise I've got a Fluke 45 which is better um, but not enough digits and I've got my Fluke 8842A which is five and a half digits which works really well um, but doesn't have all the functions I want so um, Oh, but you see me pull down that occasionally I've had to do precision work. So I'm actually looking for a six and a half digit multimeter. I'm actually tempted to buy a brand new Siglant one. Um, but they're quite expensive, you know. I'm probably looking, you know, eight hundred thousand dollars something like that. I haven't actually checked I haven't checked price yet. Um, and that's what's put me off a little bit is that it's a big outlay um, for a bit of convenience. So I'm 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 looking at second hand ones right now, I'm just trying to see a bit HP, Agilent, Keysight, you know, older ones like 34401 or something like that. Um, those six and a half digit bench meters. Um, I'm looking at those. But again, they're still fairly well up there. I mean, the price difference between getting a second hand um, six and a half digit HP Keysight thingy versus a brand new Siglant, there isn't that much in it. And between the two, I probably, you know, it makes it hard to go for Siglant or for the HP, I mean it's like, eh, if I get an HP one for cheap enough it's worth it, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still sort of on the fence about that one, I'd like a six and a half digit meter, there's been plenty of times when I wish I had one, so um, you know, anyway, so if there's any manufacturers out there, like you know, Keysight for example, Roland Swartz maybe, I don't know, have you got, got multimeters for Roland Swartz, I don't know, um, I know Siglant maybe watch my videos, I'd certainly want a Siglant one, I've reviewed the, uh, what was it? Was it 3065X, was it? Something like I did. 
um, STM3065, I think it was. I think it was the X series. I did it earlier in the year. If you do, if you haven't seen that review, I've done it early on. I actually quite like that. I mean, they cut little minor bugs in the software, you know, little minor things which would be fixed with um, firmware updates or whatever. But um, basically, it worked as expected. I just had a couple of little quirks, um, which I, I quite like that meter actually. Um, so if Siglant are watching this and they fancy giving me one, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Sit right here and replace my Vici with a with a nice signal. That'd be quite nice, actually. But uh, if anybody else wants to give me one, that'd be great. You know, um, specifically manufacturers, or if you even have a um, an old one which is broken, an old unit um, which kind of works, maybe have faulty or something like that, which is possibly repairable. Um, I may be interested in that as well. I'm always looking for bits and pieces. Um, I don't mind paying for it um, as long as it's you know a reasonable price, which is. Um, you know, in line with what I'm, I think I'm going to get out of it in value. So anyway, I'm waffling on a bit. So I've got a couple of mailbag things here. So let's uh, open these up and have a look and see what we've got. I say parts sample book. This has obviously come off. I don't care about that anyway. These are 1206. Um, I'm going to have to mark it on here myself, I think. Um, these are 1206 capacitors. Was it resistors? Resistors. 1206 resistors. Um, of all the capacitors as well, but I know so I've got a, a bit of a lack of some of these kinds of parts, so I've um, I thought oh, I'll get some of these because I've got some 0805s and 0603s, but I don't have any 12R6s, so um, I thought well, I'll get some 12R6s then. So interesting, you've got some point one rs in the back, not the front. I would have thought they'd be better at the front. Bit of a strange place for them. Anyway, um, yeah, that's okay. So it goes from 10 meg right down to 0.1 R. Um, so, yeah, there's lots of them in there stocking up. There's been a couple of times I wish I had some and I didn't have the right ones. I had to use some 0805s paralleled up and stuff like that. Anyway. This is another desk lamp. Hmm. Okay, this screams tackiness <laughs> already. Um, okay, that screws on. Interestingly. Hmm. Very interestingly. So it's got this clamp here. It's a nice strong spring. Now this is when I was going through my little phase of trying to improve my desk, my desk lighting, which I've kind of dealt with now. But um, I got a selection of parts. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use and what would fit best for certain tasks. Um, so let's just power this thing up and have a look at it. Yeah, it's, this screams tacky, doesn't it? Transparent cable. Hmm. Anyway. Now, it's got a switch on one side, I can see the cable goes straight through. Get a lot on it right, you can see one wire goes straight through, the other goes through the switch. It's supposed to be 240 volt, which we'll see. Um, Point seven five mil reckons. Hmm. It's like a mini wire, not copper. Anyway, um, so it's got three LEDs in there. So I'm going to get this plugged into a death adapter and see what happens. Um, thing that worries me a little bit is that it's got this metal casing, metal metal shoe, um, little metal gooseneck, metal clamp, metal head. No earthing. 
Uh, we'll, we might do some testing before I touch it. Let's just get it plugged in. I'll come back. So I thought, right, before I plug it in, let's just do some electrical tests. So I'm suspicious about the fact there's no earthing. Um, let's check resistances. That side, open. Looks fine. That side. Yep, no con conductivity there. Let's just turn the switch over in case I've missed something. Yep, still nothing. And still nothing. Okay, so at least like there's no obvious chance of that going live. So uh, let's get my adapter, which I've just lost. There it is. Found the floor. And power it up. Now everything in my room is uh, run through RCDs anyway. Residual current devices. So the purpose of those is to reduce the chance of getting electrocuted. So turn it on. Right. It's on. I'm not getting lit up by touching it. <laughs> um, brightness? Yeah. I don't know. I've, I've, it's, let's turn my other lights off. And let's have a look. Okay, I'll turn all my other bench lights off. So there we go. It's basically a spot it's producing. Alright, so you've got like a you know, task lighting situation where you want to work on a certain spot. I suppose it's good for that. Um, it's, it's quite yellow, so it's a warm white, warm white colouring. Um, I don't know. It's it's all right, I suppose. Lumen wise, I don't know. I should probably get my meter out and test that, but uh, I'm not going to bother with that too much. I'll put a link down below if you're interested. Like this. Um, it screams tacky. I don't like the non-insulated nature or the um, unearthed nature of it, but it's a nice robust, robust clip there and I mean the light's okay um, it's not really getting warm there's not much warmth in the front of it it's not like super high power I can't remember it was now actually um, but it is good it will task light I mean it'll be all right if you're doing like, a small area um, this is about so that's probably about a, a foot away from a bench I suppose roughly a foot away you can see the pattern there um, gives you an idea at least. So I don't know, say about two feet away there. So you know, it's okay. It will have a use for someone, I'm sure. Um, I could probably use it for something myself too, actually. So right, anyway, that's enough waffling. Get you later.